I've been looking at this scripture since last year. Every time I look at it, there is something that, you know, there is something. It's so rich. And I want to speak to you on three mountains. But I think if you can handle them, you will be blessed. If you only have wisdom of how to handle these mountains, then you will be blessed. So today, brothers and sisters, Beloved brothers, even those that are watching us from the television. When we were starting, I saw some of you watching from very fine Kericho. Whenever you are watching us, we want to talk about three mountains in our lives that if we deal with them, if we thrash them in our lives, we will have change in our life forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, it's always good to know where you start then. Because if there are mountains, we have many. Thank God I, I'm not asking you us. I want to tell you the ones that I'm struggling with. Because all of us have mountains. You know, as I celebrated 40 years of marriage, myself, when I took myself to a little closet, myself, I, I looked at my life and our life and I saw if it was not the grace of God 40 years would not have happened because we have gone through life all the things that others are going through Garali Kweyoria Kweyeda I'm sorry but it is when I was looking at myself. Then seeing that God has seen us through, I see his grace. When we were having tea with uh, uh, David, because by the way, David was the preacher in the first service. So, you know, preachers go to have tea. And when I was up there, I saw my sister, but I saw at her back, and I was wondering, what is she doing here? Because I saw her. Anyway, thank you, sister, for coming. So while we were up there with David, David remembered when he was getting married. There was one word of wisdom that came from her mother. So he, he shared it here, but we continued when we went up. Because mothers, you are very special. If you are sitting next to a mother, tell the mother you are special. If she is not a mother, tell her, become a, mother, a special mother. So Kibira was told by the mother if you marry and you discover that one of you in marriage loves money for that marriage to survive the other one must not love it. Now I'm giving you a tip. Do you know why you are fighting with your spouse? It's because both of you love it. Actually, if you want to survive in marriage, money. One of you must not love it. But I, I develop that one when I'm here. I'm developing another point. <laughs> but it will be important for one of you to love it. Because if none of you loves it, you will not be ambitious. There are some of you here 
love yenu hapa wewe hupendi na bwana yako wapendi no wonder i'm progress if you have seated next to your wife musukume kidogo mwambie mmoja wetu lazima apende pesa tell them let love mmoja apende pesa let one of you love money penda pesa love money pesa siyo mbaya money is not bad lakini ukiona mna penda nyoto wawili mmoja awache but if both of you love it one of you must stop loving it na hiyo nilijifundisha kitambo and i told myself this one a long time ago pesa money alice will tell you ah uh, yuko hapa unaweza muuliza when we struggled na pesa uh, yeah. you can ask her when uh, wakati yule tulishughulika na tulisumbuka na pesa but i was ambitious ah uh, lakini mimi nilikuwa wa kupenda pesa sana uh, maendeleo Daktari hapo daktari hapo amenicheza kona kidogo. Nilikuwa nakupenda maendeleo sana na kuendelea. Amen. Because people that are ambitious also get something that is called risk. Watu wale ambao wanapenda sana kulenga makubwa. So I also became a risk taker. Mimi nikawa mtu wa kuingia kwenye hatari. Sio hopi. I will not fear. Because somebody told us. Kwa sababu uh, there's somebody who told us. Nyumba ikiuzwa ni wewe utauzwa. If your if your house Now that statement. Are you the one who be sold? Je, hiyo sasa sio hopi? I don't fear anymore. Hata wewe acha uoga. Wakikwambia watakupatia nyumba mudhaiga na ndio itakuwa garantii yake. Enda. Ni wewe utauzwa ama ni nyumba. Ni lazima yu, ni lazima yuzwe. Sio lazima. Ai. Nyumba zinauzwa. Hata Bishop Mark ameanza kujenga hapa Merema na anauza apartment. Enda ununue. Bishop Mark is building here Merema. Ikiuzwa ni wewe utauzwa. Na ikikataa kuuzwa je, utanikumbuka milele. Kwa ukisema bishop alinisaidia nikanunua kanyumba. Uh, na nikangu. Na nika studio. And it's mine and it's Na nika studio. It's a small one. Kako kako na kila kitu. It has everything. Kako na kulala hapo. It's a place it has a place Ukeka to hapo. sleep. It's a place to cook. Mambo yote ukiingia yeah, ukijifungia yeah. basi. If you get inside and lock it has everything. But some of us why we don't move. Because first of all we are not ambitious. And also we are not risk takers. Are those mountains? We need to handle them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hiyo inaniweka nguvu. So pesa pendeni. Money love it. If if you ask me tofauti ya kuwa na pesa na kutokuwa nitakuambia. If ukiniuliza uh, uh, tofauti the difference between having money and not having it. Okay. It was so frustrating umehubiri Wednesday. Ilikuwa ya ku kuua mwana. Na umepewa offering na ijafika shilingi moja na sumni. Ah uh, given an offer. Hata hakuna haja ya kupatia security. Unaiweka kwa mfuko. Ati nimehubiria watu mwezi mzima. Na hawezi nipatia 800. You don't need an accountant. So I know the difference. Najua tofauti. Ya kuwa na pesa ama kuwa na 150 of ama less than 800. Of having money or even 150 or not even having 800. I'm speaking to you. Na hata ukijifanya usikii unasikia. Yaani ukiwa nazo na kama hauna kuna tofauti. When you have money and when you don't have money there is a difference. Kama hauna. When you if you don't have. Ile miaka. Those years. Nikienda safari. When I went for a journey. Kama safari yangu ya kwanza mwaka wa 88. When I went in the year eight, uh, 1988. I needed a strategist mtu ambaye anaweza nisaidia 
to raise money. Because I told everybody, Nanda America. Munaskin Nanda America. By the way, America. I'll tell people I'm going to America. You're not telling them you're looking for money, but you're telling, by the way, I'm going to America, Pastor. You would not tell them that you're looking for money. Then I went and sat with this person. He told me, change your language. Tell them what you bring to this country. And they will give you money. Actually, I changed. I told the members of this church and my friends, when I come back, I will come with a pickup with equipment. They gave me money. I left here with the dollars. Those were days that if you to get dollars to live with them here, Central Bank has to know Ninani Amenda Nazo. But when I came back, I came with a pickup. Maspika mawili makubwa. Keyboard moja kubwa. Keyboard. Mixer moja kubwa. When I went to the airport, the friend of mine who was taking me there, he was among the pictures that you saw of my friends for 40 years. He was laughing at me. He was saying, Jimmy, how are you going to take these things? And I'm telling him, I told the people back home, when I go, I will go with a pickup. So I'm not leaving any of this. So when I landed, the ladies there wondered. And they looked at me. Where are you going? Nairobi. Do you have money to pay for all these things? I said, no, but there is a lady here. Where is your supervisor? And a lady came. And I said, thank God for you. God is going to make you a nester. I even don't know where that courage came from. God is going to make you a nester. I am a preacher. And even my ticket had a discount. Because I traveled as a missionary. The rest is history. I came with all of them to Jomo Kenyatta. Then another thing that happened. One of the senior immigration officer then was a member here. So he was waiting for me. So with all my things, unasukuma malori kadha. <laughs> we were just push, pushing some to and put them on a pickup. Why am I saying this? I'm saying because pesa si mbaya. Because money is not bad. Pesa ni mzuri. Money is good. But listen to what the Bible is trying to tell us. These three mountains, if you can handle them, your life will never be the same again. The first mountain is the mountain of fear. Salimia jirani yako. Mwambia, ata hakikata. Unajua kuna vitu anawagopaga. Ninarudia hii ujumbe tena kwa sababu hata hakikata. Kuna vitu anawagopaga. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So in our lives, we often face mountains of fear. They seem like we cannot overcome them. These fears paralyze us. They hinder our faith in God's promises. Because the promises of God is that he will bless me. In the land of the living. Oh, I need to have faith in him. 
In Isaiah 41 verse 10, the Lord assures us by saying, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Let's stop there a little bit. Hear what God is saying. Fear not. Why? Because God is with us. Fear not. Why? Because God is with you. Any dream that God gives you, it will come to pass. Fear not. You know, some of it is, could be so big. But if God has said it, then I should not fear because God has said it. Some of us, we don't fear, but we get dismayed. But God is telling us, don't get to that shocking area because I am your God. I am not only with you, but I am your God. Did you hear that? God is not only with me, but he is my God. A few years ago, somebody sang a song and said, there is no mountain that we cannot climb. When I say we, it is Jesus and I. And I want you to start confessing that every morning. That there is no mountain that I cannot climb today. When I say we, I'm talking about myself and my Lord. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Why do we fear? Why do we get dismayed? It's because sometimes we are paralyzed. We lack strength. But he is telling us. He will strengthen us. He will help us. He will uphold us. What am I supposed to do then? It's only to have faith in him. Salimia jiraniya. Say hi to your neighbor. Mwambie hautakiwi kutafuta MP wenu. Tell them that you're not supposed to look for your MP. Apana. Apana. All true. what you need is to trust him. Ah, ila tunahitaji ni kuamini Mungu. Do you know children and I've said about a children Watoto, trust us. Wanatuamini sana. I have some grandchildren. Mimi niko na wajuku. I, I know my children, if they are watching, wherever they are, I behaved like a father. And fathers, apart from the fathers, we were fathers. Play with the children, never. Total. So for my children, <laughs> they even ask, they even wonder what happened between them and these grandchildren. Because those grandchildren, and you have seen them, even when I sit there, when they come, they want to jump over. They don't worry. What they know is that grandpa, when I jump, you will have to hold me. Save in the hands of Jesus. All what I need is to know. I belong to God. I am precious to him. And I will not fear. Neither will I be dismayed. Neither will I be paralyzed. Because I have a God who loves me. Maybe you are here, my brother, my sister. And right now again, you are so scared and afraid. You are even paralyzed. It's like you cannot move. The word I have for you is this. Fear not. The presence of the Lord is with you. Allow him to give you strength. In whatever area that you need. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So say hi to your neighbor again. And tell them, you see. I told you, fear not. Yeah, fear not. You know, I've always said that I, 
have, have told myself. And uh, I've told myself there is no way the Kenya shilling will go back to seven shillings per dollar. I've told myself. I don't dream that it should go back there. Sioti maziwa tuuziwe na kikombe. I'm not drinking 15. that. Unajua kuna kikombe inaitwa 15. Uh, we besought mm. milk uh, with that cup called Iliitwa K15. Ilikuwa inaitwa Kuna kitu kama hiyo. <laughs> ya 10. Haitarudi. It will never go back there. What I know. Ile najua. Hata ikiuzwa 1000. Even if it's sold at 1000 shillings. Tulie naye. Uh, Atanipa. He will pay. 1000. He will pay 1000. Nitakata kunywa maziwa. I'll refuse to take milk. Kwa sababu sitaki. Because I don't want. Ama kwa sababu nimeambiwa na daktari. Oh because I've been told by the doctor. Wacha maziwa. Stop taking milk. Wacha nyama. Stop taking milk. Hiyo, lakini those things. Kama daktari anani na kuna daktari, hebu nisikize. Kuna daktari anakuambia kula nyama. And the doctor has to tell you take milk. Ongeza kanyama. I know some of you are looking at me. Yeah. Ogeza kanyama. Eh, hey, ogeza kasamaki. Ogeza, ogeza. Add some <laughs> fish. Add some fish. I know some of you are waiting for that doctor to tell you ogeza. Because most of them are telling you watcha. Because most of the doctors are telling you to stop. The economy cannot affect my God. Therefore, I will not fear because God is with me. But the biggest mountain is not even fear. Ah, salimia jirani yako muambia mulima mkubwa. Si uoga. Forgive the times I've prayed and failed. When evil sore around prevail And teach me how to know thy will Teach me one more time Forgive me The times I have prayed and failed And that is the mountain of doubt Hata saa hii wengine hapa nakwambia it is possible. Even now I'm telling In one part you are saying yes. Wakati pande mmoja unasema inawezekana. The other one is speaking to you. Ile pande nyingine inakwambia wewe. You. Kwanza ka sauti yake kanakuja sana. How 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 old are you? It has to. Alafu unasema 6 6 ten. Ka sauti yake kanakuja kere ya kidogo karaba. And hati unafanya nini? Unatafuta nini? Wewe, you, umeisha. You, you're gone. Forgive me the times I have prayed, but then I have failed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Doubt. If there is anything that beats us to the ground, is doubt. No wonder one person prayed to the Lord. Help my unbelief. Because he is asked, do you believe that your child can live? He says, yes. But they help my unbelief. Because inside you, there is still doubt. Doubt. This is a mountain that we need to deal with. Doubt can cloud your vision. That doubt can lead you away from the path that God has set before you. So Jesus says this in Mark 11, 23. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, oh, I like this translation, if you can tell this mountain, you tell it, where Maulima, Kwenda. Throw yourself into the sea. I, I like this translation. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, go, throw yourself into the sea. 
and does not doubt in their heart but believes that what they say will happen it will be done so you look at it and you become prophetic you tell him where mlima you tell the mountain and go ukajitupe throw yourself baharini into the sea i don't know what what struggles you are having i think you need to rise up look at that mountain whatever it is and tell it where mlima and go ukajitupe baharini throw yourself into the sea but the condition is if you don't doubt in your heart. The proposal is this. If you believe in your heart, it will be done unto you. I'm telling you for free. There are some people who are listening to me right here. Now. Some are watching on the television. They will take this word and they will not doubt. And there are some mountains that you will address and it will go and throw itself into a sea. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Whatever mountain that is, whatever mountain that is, you can tell it. And go through yourself into the sea. Say hi to your neighbor. Mwambie tu, si nilikwambia uko na tumulima twingine? Si nikupe moyo tu. Mwambie tu, nikupe moyo tu. Just encourage yourself. Huo mlima. That mountain. Si uambie ujipeleke. I tell it to throw itself. You see, one of the other problem is that wewe unataka kubeba mlima. Uende ukautupe baharini. Wachana nayo. Wachana nayo. Ambia mlima wewe hama. Tell the mountain you. Wewe enda ujitupe. Go through yourself. Unajua wengine unabeba poverty. Uh, when some of us we carry it. But you are still carrying it. Hapana. Hasha, hasha. Hii miaka 40 imekuwa nzuri sana. These 40 years have been very good. Kwa sababu Alice ajandipa hii story lakini alitupa hii hii wakati hii wakati wa 40 years kuna ka story ametuambia uh, when we had 40 years there's a story she told us kwamba hawa walikuwa na punda that they used to have a donkey usiwaone hivi don't just see them they are not just that yani walikuwa na pickup four wheel drive uh, <laughs> walikuwa na ile gari ilikuwa na miguu minne haiwezi kwama it couldn't uh, get stuck me me offer the rest in a tano piece ah ile baba yetu akapumzike katika because he had many children ah uh, because he had uh, alikuwa na watoto wengi they had duty roster na walikuwa na ile ratiba ya kazi who will be the donkey driver ah uh, nani atakuwa akisukuma yule punda or what do you call somebody who rides a donkey <laughs> eh rider no alice is saying anaye walk nayo okay the one who walks with it but anyway the mwenye anatembea pamoja na punda forget about forget about eh hii kifungo yangu si yangu sak maiki unajua bishop makari niambia tunatokaga unakuta first dio watu wanaona lakini unaambia watu mnikija mlijua nilikuwa na kifungo You tell people that when I was coming you know I had a baton. Si yangu. It's not. Kwa hivyo kuna mtu kifungo yako ile katika utukufu. There is somebody who dropped a baton here. So Juti roster. Walikuwa na ratiba ile. Punda. Wewe ndio utawalk nayo ama rider wake ama driver wake wewe ndio utaenda nayo. You are the one who is going to walk with that donkey. Their school katika uh, shule yao you arrived to their school fast from their home and then you you went about 
two, three, four, five minutes to the shopping center. And the donkey's business was to carry mashisha. Okay, mashisha. Mashisha. Ile mashisha ime kamuliwa kutoka hiyo business. Business. Yani there was a brewery there. Brewery, yani. Kulikuwa na pale mahali pa kutengenezea pombe. Asa walikuwa wanabeba zile maganda. Sasa hiyo mashisha. Tosa. Ilikuwa imepikwa. Wale munajua sana. Kuna kitu inaitua budha. Munajua budha? Those who know very well, you know there's something called budha. Budha. Nikinyuaji na nichakula. It's good and it's also uh, it's good and it's also uh, uh, an alcoholic. Ukikunywa unashiba lakini unaleagwa tu. You get full. When you eat you get full but you also get drunk. <laughs> Sasa kazi yao ni kubeba machicha hiyo. So the, their work was to carry that. Punda inawekwa mzigo. And then the, uh, the, the donkey would be loaded. Na punda haina shida ikiwekwa inajua pahali pa kurudisha. And the donkey did not have a problem always nowhere to go. Because when it arrived, it would just stop and wait to be loaded. And when it arrived at home, it would just stop and wait Sasa to be yetu wengi, yeah, Our problem, many of us, we just know a place to be offloaded. Pa but we don't know the place to offload. Unaona ndugu bado you just see a brother is still carrying a load. Anyway, ni rudi kwa hiyo punda. Huyu punda, Yule punda uh, this donkey, alikuwa anategemea sana afike ili was, atolewe. Was really looking forward to arriving so that he would, uh, he would Na akitolewa muzigo. And whenever he was offloaded, anakaa dakika mbili, sijui ni za kushukuru ama ni za kusema nini. He would stop for about 2 minutes maybe just to say thank you. Alafu anapiga mukia anaenda kula nyasi. And then he would swing the tail and then he'd go and ta- start eating grass. Hiyo story ya punda inanijazi kwa sababu That story of the of the donkey teaches me hata pali pa kuwekelewa muzigo even the place to be loaded why should i go there why ili niwekelewe ni kwa nini niende mahali pale ndio niwekelewe na kama niko na muzigo and if i have a siniende calvary nitolewe muzigo why don't i go to calvary because jesus paid it all kwa sababu yesu alilipa gharama yote and the punda would be free. And the donkey would be free. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Remember we have said two mountains. Um, the mountain of fear. Um, wa woga. And the mountain of doubt. Na wa shaka. The final mountain. Ile ya mwisho. Through it all. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I have learned to depend upon His word. I've been to a lot of places and I've seen a lot of faces, but there are times I didn't know right from wrong. But in those lonely hours, yes, in those lonely hours, Jesus showed me how to make it through. Oh, hallelujah. Through it all. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God Through it all Through it all I have learned to depend upon His word And the trials in the here, Wapi? The trials in the Put the one about trials Okay 
But the trials that the Lord has helped me through if I never had those problems I wouldn't know that God can solve it listen to me there is a mountain called mountain of trials and all of us have our trials trials they come our way mountain of trials and tribulation. They come to test my faith and my endurance. This, they, this challenge sometimes they seem overwhelming. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They appear overwhelming. But remember what we said, the Lord is saying he will help me. In the book of James chapter 1 verse 2 and 4 Consider it pure joy My brothers and sisters Whenever you face trials of many kinds Because you know your testings of your faith Produces perseverance when trials and temptation come remember he's saying that he is with me remember he says he will help me remember he says he will strengthen me he will uphold me so there is no trials that the Lord will not see me through blessed be the name of the Lord so whether the mountain of fear or the mountain of doubt or the mountain of trials the Lord will see me through hallelujah I want you to, to reflect on what types of mountain are in your life and as we do let's remember the words in Isaiah 41 verse 15 it says, see, 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 see. I will make you into a threshing sledge with the sharp teeth. You will thrash the mountain and crush them. You will reduce them like chaff. So you look at your mountain and you tell the mountain the Lord is changing me the Lord is changing me and I have faith in him let's trust God to give us the strength to overcome those mountains and to give us peace and so that we can emerge victoriously hallelujah, hallelujah. there is no mountain that you cannot climb are you fearful are you in doubt? Are there trials? If those, any of those are the mountains that you're fighting with now, I want you to stand on your two feet. If any of those are the mountains that you're dealing with, stand on your two feet. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, if you, any of those mountains. Hallelujah. Our Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you are telling us that God today is the day of our salvation. You are telling us today is the day of our deliverance. You are telling us today we should not fear. We should not doubt. We should not be frightened by trials and temptation because you are with us. You will strengthen us. You will uphold us with your right hand. So reflect on those mountains. And don't forget what God is saying. He wants you. He wants to make you. Allow him to make you. Release yourself in your hands for him to make you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, may the Lord remember you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you as you overcome any of those mountains 
May he turn his face towards you. May he give you victory in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we all say, Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, tell the neighbor, I told you, fear not. Fear not. Now, now I want to tell you another one. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's soak that word of God in our hearts. And may the Lord give us a week of victory. Hallelujah. Help me again to appreciate the Lord. Let's appreciate Dr. You did very well. Let's appreciate faith. 